Hi everyone, welcome back to the, the channel. So I hope over the, over the next kind of couple of weeks or so that I'm going to bring you kind of more of this content, which is really going to be uh, centered around raffle websites and running your own raffle company. Uh, and to even get that started, at the end of this month, I'm going to be giving away one free uh, raffle website. So that's one of my DIY raffle website uh, templates. You'll be able to take that and start creating your own company. Uh, so all you have to do is really subscribe, leave a, uh, a comment in, on this video, and really that, that comment can be even a future video for me. So what I would like you to do is really just leave a, a, a question below, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll go through all the questions and see which ones would make good videos and which ones would you know help other people trying to get their raffle uh, business off the ground. So anyway, in this video, I'm gonna go through how to you know segment your raffle website. So say you have your general raffle website and you have all your products on the on the home page, but maybe you would want separate pages for those. Maybe you have a tech section, maybe you have one for cars, and then maybe you have one for I don't know, handbags or you know, anything, you know. So hopefully in this video I'm just gonna go through exactly how to do that. But again, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll go to pick a winner on the 31st of August. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this home page and leave it as it is. And that's going to show all the categories and all the products that I have on my website. But I'm going to add in at the, in the top here, just beside FAQ, I'm going to add in a drop down for the, you know, the items and the different categories uh, we're going to have. So I'm going to have a car category, going to have holidays, and I'm going to have tech. So there is a, a small change you're gonna to have to make to each of those, but very simple. So all I have to do is go into the back end of the website, so the the uh, dashboard. So go up the top here and hit dashboard. And what we're gonna do first is actually make those three pages. So we're gonna go pages on the left hand side and go add new. So this might be a small uh, lesson in how to create a menu as well and a drop down menu at that. So holidays, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna click this back, back end editor at the top left. And then we're gonna add an element and then we're gonna go to grid. I'm gonna go to this drop down and click on products. So you can see here a few things come up. See where it says complete, live, and uh, uncategorized. We're going to actually add in three more categories to that area. So I'm going to close that down and see if that as a draft at the top right there. All we have to do is actually now go over to products and then categories. And in categories on the left hand side here, all we need to do is add our new categories. So it's going to be holidays. And then add new category. Tech. And cars. Okay, that looks that looks good. Now we're going to go into all products and we're gonna I'm just gonna go in and add the category to each of the products. Uh, so it's all set up right. One sec, I'm going to turn that SEO title off so it looks better. Okay, so I, you can do this with the quick edit. So this is obviously a car, so uh, I'm going to click product categories car and click update. And I'm going to do that for the rest of the items here. Keep that as holidays. Tech. and tech. Okay, now we have all the uh, all the items correctly added to our categories. You can see here the, the live and holiday categories we have. Okay, so what we'll do now is go back to the pages. Just refresh that page. See our holidays, it's still a draft. So we'll go back in and edit it. Okay, so we'll go back in and edit that grid. Go 
go to products and then where it says show items of selected product categories this is obviously the holidays page so we're going to click on holidays order by yep data creation is fine i usually put about 18 in here don't want to exclude any items no nope. that's all fine Go to the appearance and then in the appearance all you need to do is click products just as a regular grid we're going to have a a three column layout that's all good there no filters no responsive options and the design is all fine so what we're going to do now is actually save that and just as a wee shortcut we're going to actually click on the classic mode editor here and go and copy this and then copy it and that's going to help us when creating the other pages quite fast so you can see that's all uh, set up fine we're going to hit publish make sure that looks okay just quickly view that page okay yeah that looks all good to me so it's just like the home page but now it's just filtered for uh just holidays and actually let's add a wee text box at the top to make sure everybody knows this is the holiday prizes. I'm going to center that and make that a big heading. Just drag that in there and delete that row. Update that. You should see now when we refresh this, we'll get holiday prizes at the top of the page. There we go. Right, okay, so what I'm actually going to do now is click on classic mode, and this is what we just did before by copying. But if we just copy, if we click text at the top right, this will give us all the, uh, the information for that page. So if I go click, uh, right click and copy, and then at the top, we're just going to click add new. This is going to be tech prizes. And then we're in the text area here on the right hand side. We can paste that in there. You can go back to visual and see what that looks like. Still looks like nothing, but when you click back end editor, it gives you exactly what you created before on the other pages. So just a wee shortcut there for you. So just change this to tech prizes. Edit the grid. So we're going to uncheck holidays and just click click on tech. So that actually, the, the whole copying and pasting thing I just done there, you know, it keeps all the grid layout so you don't have to recheck all this stuff. So we just save changes and publish. Okay, same again for cars. Type in cars. Go to the text. Go to the back end editor and change that to change that to maybe win a cup. Save that. Go into the grid. Uncheck holidays, check cars. Click save and then publish. Right, okay. Final thing to do now is actually just to add a menu to the top of the page. So we'll actually go into the site here and show you where this will be adding to. So just beside FAQ, we're going to type in prizes or prize categories or categories or whatever, whatever you like. So we're just going to click on the toggle menu and this will give you more options on the left hand side. Within appearance, there is menus. Right, okay, now we're in the, uh, in the menu area. Make sure you're on menu one just here. You can kind of see the layout, very simple here. But what we're going to do, what we're going to do is actually create a placeholder item at the very top so we can have a drop down. So custom links, I'm going to add in a hash into the URL and then type in prizes. Here, I'm going to add the menu. And what that's going to do is, again, just create a placeholder. It's going to be a link to nowhere, and, you know, drop down links to the different pages that were just created. So cars, tech, 
and holidays. So we're going to add all three of those to the menu using the add to menu button. And then simple as dragging them up and making sure they go under the prices just as a wee indent. So cars and holiday, making sure they're all on the same line. So once you save that, we'll go back to the home page and see what that looks like. So here we go, give this a refresh. You can see prizes here, and then once you hover over, you'll get cars, tech, and holidays. So let's go into, you can see we're already in holiday prizes, but if we're going to tech, there will be the tech prizes, and then cars, there's the car price. So again, giving away one of these uh, template DIY template websites for the raffle, your raffle company. Uh, love to hear any kind of questions you have or any kind of videos that you may would like to be made. Uh, and then on the 31st of this month, I'm going to be giving away uh, one of them to a lucky subscriber and a commenter. So obviously you have to do both to be entered. All the best. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.